All right, so um, hopefully the garage sale gods are smiling upon us today. The last video that you guys watched, that was actually a Thursday. This is the next day. It's a Friday, which comes after Thursday, and we're in this uh, really nice neighborhood. There's a community sale that was posted. It starts at eight, which is another 20 minutes or so, but uh, I'm kind of trolling around to see if anybody's open early, and uh, there's another community sale about 15, 20 minutes from here. But uh, I figured this one, we might have better odds. The other one's closer to the freeway. It's a you know bigger community. Uh, it's right there off the freeway. So I figured I'll come over to this one first and see if we can uh, do some early burden. And uh, yeah, so kind of keep you abreast on how the day goes. Oh, I see some stuff. All right, all right guys, I gotta go. Good, how are you? Doing good, thanks. Did you make a million bucks yet? <laughs> Getting Absolutely. there? Absolutely, that's our goal. <laughs> a million bucks. All right. We're looking for like any old like video games or toys, anything like that. Do you have any of that? Uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64? We, we did our last one we did. Uh, yeah. My son, he's 20 something. He, we, yeah, we sold all his stuff. Uh, okay. Gosh, I think probably last year. Okay, I'm getting a lot of that today. Like last Are year, you really? Everybody sold all their stuff last yeah, year. Yeah, it seemed like we uh, we went through all his Nintendo Game Boy and all that <laughs> All right, CM Retro reporting from the field. Things are starting to close down. There's a sale down there. It's getting about to 10.30, 11 o'clock. So we all know what happens about then. You get scraps. But uh, yeah, we'll take a look. We'll continue the fight. See what we got right here. All right. Then we got a big one here across the street. So we'll hit that one. Okay. So we had a pretty successful day today. We went to one, two, three, four, four or five community sales. Then we freestyled a little bit. There were some garage sales out, out and about haphazardly. We kind of found them on our way to other places. But um, yeah, so let's just get started. I, I'm not Blu-ray guy. I don't know a lot about which Blu-rays to buy and what not to buy. But I know when they're a dollar, that's probably a pretty good investment. Especially if you're going to watch the movie, you know, and then pass it on. But uh, five bucks, we got five movies here. Iron Man 2, which I haven't seen in a while. Terminator. Terminator 2. I'll probably lot those together and get rid of them. Uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. I haven't seen this movie in a long, long time. So I'll probably check that out later while I'm editing. And then Alien Special Edition. on the, uh, It's a DVD, not a Blu-ray. but So you grab those for a uh, dollar a piece. I also snagged this. I am not baseball bat guy. That's more of a... Uh, Cincinnati picker and shad juice kind of thing, but this is brand new with the uh, the plastic on it They wanted five dollars for it. It is a Rawlings 5150 minus five all that stuff and like I said still got the plastic on it So retail this bat was $89.99, but I think I, I think I get like 40 bucks 50 bucks plus shipping um, for this bad boy so I ordered those boxes from USPS, those big long triangle boxes. And uh, you know, those are free, so as long as they ship at whatever that box shipping rate is, is cool. Um, 
grab some records. I think I got about three bucks invested into all these records, but uh, I'm keeping this one for myself. James Bond for your eyes only soundtrack. You guys know I'm a huge James Bond fan. I don't really have anywhere to put these, so I'll just shuffle them underneath here. Uh, Robin Hood in story and song with Top Cat. Bob Seger in the Silver Bullet Band, Nine Tonight. Rough shape, but the uh, records were actually in pretty decent collection. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash, which is awesome. And then we got uh, Bee Gees, The Greatest. Uh, this is some kind of special edition because the, the lettering is embossed. It's probably not going to come up, but it's like raised a little bit. Um, and it's a, like a trifold kind of deal there. This one's only a the regular edition, I guess. Uh, Bee Gees, The Greatest. But these go for about 15 each. So, And then the, uh, the coolest one in there, I thought... This is Sgt. Pepper Lonely Hearts Club Band soundtrack. It's got Aerosmith, Alice Cooper, Earth, Wind & Fire, uh, you know, lots, lots of the greats. And this one has the poster that comes with it. So I think I can get about 15, 20 bucks just for that record. Now, you know, I find records and I pick them up, but I usually end up sitting on them for a while. So I try not to overbuy on the records. They had, all their records were a quarter, and they had a bunch of like Frank Sinatra, Johnny Cash, and uh, instead of buying all of them, I just kind of picked the ones that I thought were the better ones, or the more interesting ones, so those were the records. Okay, so I'm not going to lie on this one. Uh, when I saw it, I completely bought this for me, even though it resells for about uh, 25 bucks. It is a Darth Vader Star Wars figure carrying case. will need to be cleaned. It's got like little dust bunnies and stuff in there, but... Um, it has the uh, all the rails that go across, which is nice. These things sell for about 20, 25 bucks. But like I said, for five dollars, uh, I totally bought that for me because 1980. Can you believe that? 40 years old. This thing went through the mold and then on a shelf somewhere, and some little brat was like, "Mommy, mommy, I want that." And then she probably paid whatever for it, and here it is. Its journey has found its way to our game room. Amazing. So. That's pretty awesome. All right, so let's get to some games and some game stuff, man. That's what we're here for. Uh, same place I got that baseball bat for $5. You guys gotta ask, right? I said, uh, do you have any video game stuff? And I went through my spiel. Well, we have a Wii, but I don't even think the kids play it anymore. Or I think they play it, but not um, blah, 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 whatever. So I said, okay, well, do you have any games that uh, maybe they don't play that they would wanna sell? So he brings up the CD case book and uh, inside was a copy of Mario Kart that I got for $2. So. That will be about 20 bucks or so after we uh, clean it and flip it. And then of course we got the bat. Stop by this sale. Games and games are individually priced, uh oh. But uh, two bucks, we got Monopoly. This game used to be a decent value. I don't know what it is. I, I didn't have it on uh, PlayStation 3, so. I don't know, two bucks. But the exciting part was I asked him about an Xbox. He was like, oh, I got the cables for that over here. And he pulls out this bad boy. And he goes, I don't know what this goes to. And I said, hey, that goes to a uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, GameCube. They use the uh, the same wire. So he gave uh, gave me this cable and this game for two bucks. So a buck a piece. Can't go wrong there. All right. So second sale. Okay. Walk up. I'm looking through their records. She's like, hey, we got more records downstairs if you want to look at them. So uh, sweetheart of a lady that she was. She hoofed herself back in the house <laughs> downstairs and pulled up three more boxes of uh, records. And that's when I hit her. I was like, hey, you got any video game stuff? You know, uh, the husband had just gotten home and he had, you know, had bags of ice or whatever for the cooler. For the cooler. And uh, he's like, well, yeah, we got uh, an N we got a Wii and a N64, and but we gave the games away and, you know, for some of that stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, listen, if you know where it's at and you can get it, I will be more than happy to take a look at... Uh, at anything that you got. So he goes downstairs and he brings up this tub and uh, I'm like, okay, I, I love it. I want all of it. How much do you want for it? So he goes, I don't know. Let me go ask the wife. <laughs> so then he he beats feet back into the garage. He's like, hey, honey. And he wants to buy all the game stuff. Well, what, what do you think? And he, <laughs> just here, I wish, I wish I would have gotten it on, on video. <laughs> she goes, she yells back at it. She's like, well, we had it out last year for $25 and nobody bought it. Nobody wanted it. 
So she's like, how about 25 bucks? I'm like, no problem, I'll do 25 bucks. So for $25, we got a GameCube. It is missing the power cord. He does. He did say it where it was so funny because he goes, she looks and she goes, well, we got that, that GameCube as a wedding present. And then he quickly snaps back, well, our Wii plays GameCube games, so we don't need a GameCube console and, and a Wii. And then he goes, so, and then he was like, well, we're going to keep all the wired GameCube controllers for the, uh, for the Wii. And I was like, okay, that's kind of odd to just say we're going to keep all the GameCube controllers. He said, we're going to keep all the wired ones. But what he was sort of subliminally saying was that he was going to get rid of the unwired ones. That, so he comes out with a wave bird. It's got the back, uh, the dongle, everything. So that was included in the box. We also got an NES. And guys, there's power cords and controllers and I, it might, might, might be missing uh, an AV cable or something, but we got a Nintendo, which was awesome. Uh, there was also two N64s. Now, what was really cool is one of these, let me see. Yeah, one of these has the expansion pack, uh, which is cool because I need it for one of my other consoles. But in the bottom of the box, I found the jumper pack. So we'll put the jumper pack in the, uh, in the console here and then... I'll basically pillage the uh, the expansion pack out of there, which is awesome. So in the, I'm looking at the box now. There's a blue N64 controller and a black N64 controller. Oh, sticks are eight out of ten. I, I don't know, but oh my god, it says Nin Games Old Basement. <laughs> Love it. So inside this box, which was inside our tote, is a box of Nintendo games. So we love Nintendo games that are old and from the basement. That's that's why we go out. You know what I mean? So uh, we'll just take a quick quick look at these. All right, weird jump cut. I'm trying to figure out how I was gonna I was gonna hold this box and pull games out like that wasn't gonna work. Uh, so I have them stacked up here. There's 20 Nintendo games and six dust covers where these things are worth their weight in gold. So. Love those. You know, you can try and buy those at a game store or something. They want like a dollar a piece, which is crazy. Okay, so here are the 14, no, 16 games that uh, I've got doubles of. So most of these will bundle up with the uh, the console, the sports games, and Mario Duck Hunt, that kind of stuff. So uh, bases loaded. RBI Baseball, favorite of mine. It's probably my favorite baseball game of all time. 10 yard fight. Double dribble. Dude, we were awesome at that game back in the day. Ninja Turtles with the funky label. Uh, we'll we'll bundle that with the console. There's no sense in keeping that around. Uh, Dr. Mario. Actually pretty clean. Wrath of the Black Manta. And then Mario Duck Hunt. We'll definitely bundle that with the console. So, uh, kind of looking at that. Maybe Wrath of the Black Manta and Dr. Mario will keep separate. But the sports games and that stuff, we'll, we'll bundle. All right. Um, these are the better games that there were doubles of. I'll probably hold on to these, actually. Use them as trade bait. Uh, maybe take them to a convention or something like that. I don't know. But uh, we'll get our money back out of all the other stuff. So, Monster Party. Adventure Island. Super Mario Brothers 3. Looks like it still has a $1 price tag from a garage sale. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, pretty beat up copy, starting to get rub marks and wear. You can see all the, the black speckling. So, yeah. Ghost and Goblins, another amazing game. Battletoads, Metroid, and Michael Tyson's Punch Out. So, very cool there. Those, like I said, those are all doubles. And we'll figure out what we're going to do with those. All right. So the reason that we do all this is so we can go out, find some cool stuff on the cheap, maybe add some stuff to the collection, make our money back, maybe a little bit more uh, so we can get some stuff that we want. But, you know, it, it's kind of all for not. If you go out there and you find a bunch of stuff to resale, and that, that's great. But 
it's adding stuff to the collection that really drives me to go out there. I can go anywhere and find stuff to sell, but uh, it's hard to go out and garage sale and find all this good stuff to add to the collection. But we did find out of that stack four games that we didn't have. Uh, this is not a game. This is the cleaning apparatus that you jam in there like this. Ooh, 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 clean. <sighs> like that. But uh, I have the box for this, so that's the only reason that I'm keeping this, is now I have a Nintendo cleaning cartridge CIB. All right, Lamer here, Tecmo NBA Basketball. Didn't have that one, so yeah, we'll add that to the collection. Uh, this was really cool. King of Kings, the early years, a Wisdom Tree game. So this is my first Wisdom Tree game, and it came with the blue uh, dust cover which is kind of cool the way it sits in there. It's got little Bible stuff. So very cool. I don't know if that's a good game or not, uh, but for free, it's my second favorite F word. 3D World Runner, which I heard is a really good game. And there's a sticker on it, Livingston's Books. Somebody paid $30 for 3D World Runner. How about that? And then the last game, I was actually pretty excited to see this. I didn't even know that this was a game. I love The Last Starfighter, and I had no idea that they made a Nintendo game uh, based off of that movie. It's in really good condition, so I'm very happy to, uh, to be adding that to the collection. Guys, that is going to do it. Um, had a great day. I'm very excited. Now we got to start cleaning stuff and selling stuff. To, you know, uh, That's the part I hate. I love buying it. I hate cleaning it up and listing it. It becomes uh, ominous. Anyway, let me know what you've been picking up. Has garage sale season started in your area? Take care of yourselves, and we will see you on the next one.